Hi, and welcome back to Neural Splendor. My name is Agent Shop Joe. Tonight I wanted to talk just for a few minutes about the Mercedes Benz V8 442LA. That's an older engine. There's mechanical, fully mechanical, and then there are, on the newer engine models, they were actually, uh, they had unit injectors that were electronically controlled. Those unit injectors were sort of like pumps with tappets on them, and then they still fed a mechanical nozzle in the head. But your fuel control, uh, horsepower and throttle was done electronically to that unit injector. So tonight what I wanted to talk about specifically is an engine that we had. It was a 400 horse, and we really had no use for 400 horse, so we built it to a 535 horse. And there's a significant difference besides the nozzle flow, besides the pump settings. This has a, what's a pump very similar to a P7100, lays at an angle under the intake manifold in the valley of the engine, in the V-valley. It's a straight eight injection pump, eight, eight uh, plungers right in a row, big pump. And so we had sent that out and had it recalibrated by a fuel shop from the 400 horse up to the 535. We were able to rebuild the nozzles ourselves at the shop. Uh, we have the parts that we need to, to do that. We have a, um, a pop-off stand to set the pop-off pressure of the pinnel, so we were good there. So the main thing I wanted to talk about tonight is I wanted to talk about the crankshaft gear. On this engine, the crankshaft gear bolts on the back and it drives the cam gear and the other gear-driven accessories. Pretty much drives everything. Well, on the 400, this gear has no relief in it. And you'll see a photo of that right over here. On the turbocharged engine, the 500, the 535, the 565, there's a relief cut in that gear. We happen to have a gear that had a relief, and we had this gear. And so we also have a rock wall checker at work, and we rock wall checked both gears. There happens to be a 60 point difference in hardness between the non-turbocharged 400 horse gear and the turbocharged 500 horse plus gear. So if you ever rebuild one of these engines or take one apart and the crank gear has to be replaced for some reason, make sure that you have the correct gear. We actually had to replace the crank and here's the reason why. So we unpacked the new crank, cleaned everything up and built the engine. I've got a little treat for you. You're going to get to hear the engine run. There's a lot of other photos and videos I have during the rebuilding process, but we'll look at those another time. The main thing I wanted you to know tonight is watch out for that crank here. Make sure it's marked. And then the second thing is I wanted you to know that uh, there was a difference in the gears when you build from 400 to over 500 horse. Again, it was a non-turbocharged engine when we were finished with it. We had upgraded it and put turbochargers on it. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Neural Splendor.